Okay, I'm going to do some work on uh, some of my smaller fish. I've got uh, a couple of shimmies that I need to remove. And uh, I must just say, before I even start this video, that uh, um, it's something you've got to be very, very careful of. So I don't advocate uh, doing any kind of cosmetic surgery with your fish. But if you've got a shimmy on the fish, it's quite a simple thing to, um, to actually remove. And a shimmy is just like a little tiny black spot that appears on the, the scale. If you're going to take your fish to a koi show, um, normally you just take that shimmy off with your with your nail. Um, I prefer to, just to use a small scalpel and it really isn't even cutting, it's just literally just nicking the, the shimmy off the, the skin, off the scale. Um, I've got uh, some surgical swabs, I've got a small scalpel, I've got tweezers. Here I've got clove oil that I use to knock the fish out. And this dosage here um, is normally about um, 0.5 mils per liter. So I've got 30 liters of water, so I need 15 mils worth of uh, clove oil and I've mixed that in some warm water beforehand. And then what I do is I'll mix it into this bowl where I'm going to um, basically knock the fish out in. And then we'll take the fish onto this towel. And yes, this towel looks incredibly grotty, but it's actually very clean. That's just a, a long history of koi medication being spilt on this towel. But every time after I'm finished working with fish, I actually wash it uh, completely. Then I wet it down with fresh water, and that becomes the, the surface we put the fish on um, just to, to do the little uh, shimmy removal. So there you can see the, the female kahaku, and she's got two shimmies. One you can see on the shoulder, just at the, at the break, and the second one just here by the dorsal fin. There you can see the two shimmies in the in the picture. So I'm going to take those shimmies off the, the fish in the procedure that I'm going to do. Maybe if I zoom in a bit, you can see even better. There's a shimmy. So it looks like a little paint fleck on the <laughs> on the scale. There's a second one further back there. I think that's it. I don't think she's got any any more. But these are just things that fish pick up uh, over time. It could be a water quality issue. Um, it could, I don't know if it's genetical, but uh, time to time on kwakus you get uh, shimmies and if you're going to show the fish, easier to get the thing removed. Okay, let's put it into the, into the solution. Okay, the, there she is in the, in the bowl. And now I essentially just wait normally about five to seven minutes. As soon as the fish kind of goes over onto its side um, and loses consciousness, that's when you take it out. When you can remove it by holding the middle of the fish and there's very little movement on the side of the, the fish on the tail um, or the front of the fish. So she's not flapping around much. That says that she's being knocked out. Then we take her out so we can do some work on her. So it won't be long now. Okay, when I'm finished, I basically just dab the spot that I've done some work on with some fries balsam just to make sure that it uh, uh, is disinfected. And then from here, I'll basically release the fish back into the, into the pond. There you can see the, the two spots are gone bit of fry balsam on the uh, on the wound and then she goes back into the pond to recover
Okay, and within uh, literally three minutes, she's back swimming with the, the school again and uh, in good nick. You've got to be so careful when you're doing this. And uh, I, I want to just stress that I'm not advocating that you do cosmetic surgery on your, your fish. I do it only for shimmies. So only when there's a, a tiny little black spot on the, uh, on the fish, and especially if it's on a, on a kohaku. Um, I'm not saying you should cut away pattern or do anything that's uh, um, extravagant on the fish. I mean, I know if you look at what gets done at the moment on the, the net in terms of cutting tan shows and cutting uh, uh, shapes of pattern, um, there's a huge amount of that happening. I'm not saying do that. Do that. In fact, I'm, I'm very much against that. The, as far as I'll go is taking a shimmy off a fish that I want to send to a koi show. So that's all I'm uh, um, kind of willing to, willing to share with you. But uh, yeah, if you need to do it for a show, um, do it, but just be very careful. Also, make sure, there she is swimming, swimming in the middle of the pond. Um, make sure as well that uh, you're disinfecting um, your uh, equipment, your scalpel, your um, tweezers, anything that you're using. Make sure you disinfect afterwards. Um, the towel that you put the fish on, make sure you wash. Um, you've got to make sure that there's really good, uh, uh, good hygiene. Um, I sometimes wear gloves, but uh, more often than not, I just use uh, use my hands and wash my hands, um, kind of properly when I'm when I'm done. I just find when I'm removing a shimmy and I'm working with like a really fine scalpel, uh, it's far easier to just use my hands directly onto the fish rather than uh, use a pair of gloves. That makes uh, it it's slightly uncomfortable for me. But anyway, there she is. She's uh, swimming really well, so we'll keep track on that and see what she looks like in about say a week or two's time we'll do a follow-up to see what uh, what she looks like and whether that uh, chimney has been removed properly and whether there's any kind of mark that we can pick up from that removal there she comes along the along the wall so let's see